Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. In this tutorial, we're going to look at adding markers to maps. Now, the thing is, I've done this before in um, Android Map version 1 API, but I've never done it with this um, map API. So what I'm about to show you is just me looking stuff up and trying to get it to work. And I'm just putting this in to this um, Android tutorial because uh, I wanted to show you something that isn't just the absolute basic map stuff, but equally this is a, a new API to me, um, just as it probably is to you, and I, I don't know my, my way around it. So we're, we're gonna, I'm going to try to get this working in this tutorial by following the documentation. And uh, if you um, if you want to see an example of this working in front of you, then hopefully I can sort that out for you now. So uh, let's go to a internet browser and. Um, Actually, here is, is the map application I have at the minute. It's just the, the basic demo uh, from the Google Developer Guide. And into Google, I'm going to type something like Android Android Map V2, because it's no good using the V1 at this point. Um, and something like Add Map Marker or Add Marker. Um, whenever I want to find out how to do something, I just type it into Google like this using keywords, appropriate keywords. And with Android stuff, the developer documentation is usually the best place to look. But with other programming stuff, then um, of course often you can find lots of examples elsewhere. But there's, um, there's one central point for Android here. So it looks pretty simple. It looks like having, uh, we've got um, a map fragment that's, that's displaying and it looks like we just basically have to get that fragment and add a thing called a marker to it. Like it's like a hello world marker they've got here. I, I literally have just seen this document uh, for the first time 10 minutes ago. So uh, I don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm gonna try, try doing this. So we've got to get the map and um, add a marker to it. And this is quite a lot simpler than the version one API, which involved messing around with overlays and overlay items and I think there was some other layer in there as well. Let's go to um, maybe the main activity here. And um, there seems to be something wrong. What I'm going to do is I'm going to restart Eclipse and I'm going to pause recording of this video for a second. Okay, and back, I've just restarted Eclipse and it seems to fix those weird problems that were coming up. Let's paste that source, uh, that source code in here. And uh, I don't see any reason why for this particular application, uh, just for this little demo, I, d I don't need the map in a private variable. So let's just say here, Google map and get rid of this private declaration. I'll add the imports with control shift O and that all looks fine. Let's run this and just see what it does. And uh, if it works, I might try adding slightly more interesting marker. So I'll run this on my HTC and it looks like you, you can add these um, markers and this marker options thing from uh, from what I can see of the documentation lets you set an icon and stuff like that on it if you um, if you want to. So let's let's try this. In fact, um, I, I see how they've done that. Yeah, this is actually they're actually chaining methods here. So marker options has a position method and a title method. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do anything quite like this in Java before, but fair enough. And um, we could rewrite this by saying um, marker options, uh, marker options, marker equals new marker options. And then we could set um, stuff on it, like we could say marker. I'm going to show you the running program in just a second. But we could say marker dot position. I zoom marker dot position uh, and set naught comma naught and marker dot title naught naught comma naught. I um, I assume that would work. Oh, not naught naught. That should be. Uh, Hello world or something like that. Oh yeah, and the position should be uh, new lat long. This is a new class on me as well. I haven't seen this before. Uh, so they've changed quite a lot since the last time. And if, if these are set methods, um, which, yeah, let's hover the mouse over position, press F2, go into this documentation. 
it just says sets the location for the marker. So now we could supply the marker to here like that. And to my mind, um, okay, that's a bit more for both, but it looks easier to tell. It's easier to tell what's going on. Okay, so now what we've got is this, and we've got a marker there on the map. Um, and if I pick up my phone here in the real world, I can zoom in on that marker. There we go. Now, if you look at the documentation, there's um, lots of other stuff you can do, like uh, you can get stuff that's displayed, you can add stuff, a snippet that's displayed below the title, like you could in the previous version. You can make it draggable, which is very nice, and um, you can set an icon as well, which I guess is just a matter of uh, putting an image, I presume, in your... Um, in like, like, like a drawable folder and then just specifying the ID to the marker, I should imagine. But I'm not sure, I haven't tried it. Um, and we've got some more examples down here, uh, like setting a position at Melbourne. This is a longitude and latitude. And um, what else do we have? Yeah, and here we've got an example of setting an icon. It's a bit more complicated than I imagine. So we've got to call the dot icon method and we need to use bitmap descriptor factory dot dot here it says dot default marker so there's a bunch of default markers that we can set as well apparently if we just copy and paste that so i'll leave you to play around this it looks it looks pretty nice actually um, i have no real uh, desire to add markers to maps myself at the moment but um it's definitely this could be very useful and uh also as in the last api it looks like we can also add a on marker click listener to marker. Let's let's just do that actually to finish off this tutorial. I'll try one other little thing. In fact, let's try a couple of little things from this document because it'd be interesting to have a different bitmap really. So let's let's set the icon using this. So I'll call the dot uh, icon method of marker, which is marker dot marker dot icon like that now does that work if we add the import for bitmap descriptor factory add the semicolon at the end so this should give us an azure marker i don't know what other options we can have and uh, let's also let's set the snippet um, to something then maybe we can set a snippet and um, i'll leave the longitude and latitude where it is but i will set the title as well so Let's say marker, oh, I've set the title to hello world actually already. Let's say marker dot snippet and uh, some info goes here. And finally, let's see if we can figure out when the user's clicking the marker. I presume we can uh, detect drag events on it as well. Yeah, marker drag events. So I think this is a considerable simplification of the previous API by the looks of it. Let's see if we can add one of these uh, um, click listeners like marker dot on or maybe set click no maybe not um, I'm gonna have to consult the documentation clearly so there's no set on click method let's take a look and see what it says uh, so you can use it on info window click listener to listen to click events on an info window I don't think we need to do that um, I need to look at these marker click events. You can use an on marker click listener to listen for click events on the marker. Oh, so we need to say Google Map dot set on marker click listener. Fair enough. Well, let's let's try that then. Um, when a user clicks on a marker, on marker click marker will be called. All right, let's try this. So Google Map dot set. So I, I presumably I need to get my map here. Um, map dot set on marker click listener new on marker click listener I presume and uh, let's add the semicolon add the import sir control shift O and finally so yeah the, the, the actual marker in question apparently gets passed in and let's just pop up a toast so let's say toast dot make text context is going to be the um, activity, but I can't just say this because we're in a anonymous a, a method of an, an anonymous class. So I need to say main activity 
dot this. Uh, the text, let's let's display marker dot, can we say get snippet? Yeah, let's try that. And the duration, I'm going to say toast dot length long dot, and now I need to say dot show to actually show the toast. So let's run that and see if that works. And then I'll leave it there because as you can see, all I'm really doing is looking at the documentation, which is probably a limited value to you. But I just wanted to put something extra in about maps. And while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to just pause the recording for a minute. OK, it seems to be running. And uh, there's the marker. So I'm going to go to my phone. Let's zoom in a bit, actually. And uh, let's just click the marker. It's in the middle of the ocean. And uh, there we go. We've got a toast popping up. So um, I'm quite impressed with that, actually. I think it's a lot better than the previous Mac API, I, I must admit. That's it for this tutorial. And uh, until next time, happy coding.